everyone, it's Tracy, and this is a special request video. This is for you, Gail. This is a quick walkthrough of the new Pamela Coleman Smith, The Untold Story, that was released from U.S. Game Systems. It's by Stuart Kaplan, Mary Kay Greer, Elizabeth Foley O'Connor, and Melinda Boyd Parsons. I pre-ordered this from U.S. Game Systems directly, and it came today. And it is a massive book. Now, this is not a review. I have read through page 19. I'm on to, I, I need to start back on page 19. So this is not a review. But if you're interested in this book, I wanted to give you a look at what it looks like so that you can decide if this is something you want to purchase. Because this is not an inexpensive book. This, um... I paid, I believe, about $45 for it. I think now you can order it a little bit less expensively from Amazon, but it's still, um, it's still not a cheap book. So, first of all, you'll notice that I had to back my camera up further. You can see both sides of my little TV tray to get the entire book in the frame because it is that big. And it is that big. It is huge. Let's start by having a look at what it says on the back of the book. Pamela Coleman Smith, The Untold Story, brings together the work of four distinguished scholars who have devoted years of research to uncover the life and artistic accomplishments of Pamela Coleman Smith. Known to millions as the creator of the Rider Waite tarot deck, Pamela Coleman Smith, was also a stage and costume designer, folklorist, poet, illustrator of ballads and folk tales, suffragette, and publisher of books and broadsheets. She specialized in the art of synesthetic paintings that were based upon the visual images she saw in classical music. In 1907, she was the first non-photographic artist to be exhibited by Alfred Stieglitz, Alfred Stieglitz, at his photo secession gallery. Is that what that says? Secession, yeah. <laughs> this collaborative work presents a richly, a richly illustrated biography of Pamela's life, essays on the people and events that influenced her work, a chronological survey of her folk tales, art, and poetry, and an exploration of her lasting legacy. This 440-page volume also includes over 400 colored, color images of Pamela's non-tarot art from the private library of Stuart Kaplan, reproductions of 30 selected pages from Pamela's 1901 to 1905 visitor's book, Pamela's personal documents, correspondence, portraits, and photographs, rare archival materials from several leading museums and libraries, bibliography with over 500 entries, detailing Pamela's published works, reviews, articles, and advertisements. Advertisements. I've been watching too much British stuff lately. <laughs> Sorry. In America, we say advertisements. Index containing 2,100 descriptive entries. Pamela Coleman Smith, The Untold Story, is the most comprehensive and exhaustive collection of works by and about Pamela Coleman Smith published to date. Love that one have a quick look at now there is a $200 version of this book with lots of other stuff that I just couldn't justify that at all we have about the authors which I've read and this is a very scholarly book this has lots of footnotes and citations and it, it's kind of like my old college textbooks so we have Pamela's life and that's by Elizabeth Foley O'Connor Folk Tales, Arts, and Poetry by Stuart Kaplan. And that's a pencil drawing of Pamela Coleman Smith by John Butler Yeats in February of 1901. Influences and Expressions in the Rider Waite Tarot Deck by Melinda Boyd Parsons. Pamela's Legacy by Mary Kay Greer. An addendum, a portrait, and then the bibliography and index. That's the picture most of us are familiar with. Throughout it, it's full of illustrations, even just these little side illustrations that are all Pam's. 
Okay, Pixie. That's as far as I've gotten, but I did just get the book today. So we have things like her handwritten and little sketches, little doodles and notes, her illustrations. Tom and Imogene from Trelawney of the Wells, Act 3, published by R.H. Russell in 1899. Um, Jamaican folktale performances. Just, it's an amazing, amazing. Ugh, it's just amazing. And yes, it will take me months to actually get through it all. Um, I say that like it's a chore, but it's going to be an actual delight to read through this and, and study the, the images and read the pictures, the pictures and music. Do you see pictures and music when you hear a Beethoven symphony or a sonata by Schumann? Do mystic human figures and landscapes float before your eyes? Boy, I wish, uh, that would be cool to be able to see music. I can't see music. Just flipping through some letters. So there you go, just a little look at what this book is and what it's about. It's not all just a biography. It's a lot about her work, and there are lots of illustrations in here and reprints of actual documents from, from the period, letters, and here's a broadsheet that, that she worked on, pictures by Pamela Coleman Smith and Jack B. Yates. That should be interesting. And there's lots of, um, there's, once you get to the end of her biography, there's like three or four pages that just go through the footnotes and where the information came from, which I, I don't read that. Anyway, there you go. There's a quick look at Pamela Coleman Smith, The Untold, Untold Story. I think anybody who's a fan of Pixies should have this book. Just my opinion. Thanks for watching, everybody, and have a fabulous day.